Hello, welcome to Team Sport Docklands. My name is Ryan McGowan. I'm going to be taking us on a hot lap around the track, showing you how best to do it. I've been marshal uh, at Team Sport for just over two years. I've been managing at this place for just over a year now. So let's walk and talk it, shall we? We're going to take the first lap nice and slowly. It's almost going to seem boring, but it's all going to be helpful. So we have just crossed the first start finish line there. As you can see, I'm staying way over to the right hand side. The reason why we're going to slow down here, we want to cut this corner here. And now all we're doing is just setting ourselves up for the next corner here. Okay, so the first one was really tight, meant we got around the second one. Now I'm staying in the middle of the track here, and I'm staying as close to the right hand side as possible. All this track you see on the left hand side, we do not need to use it, it's just wasted time. We've heard of racing lines, we are following those. Now as we come up the ramp, we're staying as far over to the left hand side as possible. Now as we come up here, we're only going to take our foot off the accelerator. When you've gone up that ramp, you're going to have so much momentum and speed, you do not need to continue to use the accelerator. All you're going to do is spin out and make more work for yourself. Now, that corner we just passed, we're going to clip that nice and tight, and we're staying as far right as possible on the down ramp. We're slowing right down, we're going to hit this corner here. Now, we've got a little straight, Staying as far right as possible. Again, we are setting ourselves up for the next corner. So, hairpin here, nice and tight. We're slowed down so we can take it nice and tight, which sets us up for this one here. Okay, now on this bank, we're gonna try and stay as far right as possible. Again, we're not using all this track, it's just a waste of time. Now this straight, we can really have fun with. Absolutely put your foot down and enjoy it. Stay as far right as possible as well. Try not to use all this space. You're just making more work for yourself. Now here we're going to start on the brake and again clipping this corner, setting ourselves up for this one here. Now that's the basics. So let's see it all put together, shall we? Staying as far right as possible. Real brake. Take it left. Nice and tight, setting ourselves up for this next corner. Staying on the right hand side. Now staying on the left. Foot off, use that momentum, glide round. And we set ourselves up. Down ramp, slow it down. Nice left there. Staying to the right, brake. Clipping it, setting yourself up for this corner here. And again, staying as far to the right as possible. That's the fastest line. All right, let's slow it down. We're coming in nice and tight on the left-hand side. All right. There we go. Let's do it one more time. Break. Setting yourself up. Stay on the left. All right, foot off, glide round, stay around the middle. There we go. Break it as we come down the ramp. Stay nice and tight. Over on the right hand side, break. Setting yourself up, there we go. Look how easy this bit is. And staying, hugging that right hand side, really hug it. And breaking, coming in nice and tight again. There we go, excellent. Setting yourself up for the next corner and across the first, there we go. All right, everyone. That was a little tutorial on how to drive around the Docklands track. I hope you've learned something. If you're new here, I hope this is helpful for you. If you're gonna come for the very first time, look forward to seeing you soon. If you do come around, just ask for me. Remember, my name's Ryan McGowan. Give me a shout and I'm more than happy to come out and show you what to do. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you at the track.